Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is my YouTube channel, Sorrel Thinks, where I talk about all things half anxiety related. Um, and the other night I was laying there and I was thinking about all of the symptoms that I've had that turned out to be anxiety. And I was thinking about how a lot of them didn't really slot into like the typical anxiety symptoms that Google will give you or a doctor might know about. So, you know, it's pretty well established that anxiety can cause, um, you know, palpitations, chest pain, dizziness, um, digestive issues. That's kind of like a well-known established thing that most GPs will recognize, most websites will talk about. But the problem being is that a lot of us actually have like these crazy symptoms that um, you don't really see associated with anxiety. And then of course, because of that, it wreaks havoc on our mind and we end up thinking that, okay, well, this NHS website doesn't list this symptom, so it must be bad. Um, and actually, that's why I was so worried about my twitching because um, I remember like having these twitches and there was only like a small handful of websites that actually mentioned twitching as a symptom of anxiety, which for, for me, it's insane because so many of us twitch. Like I would say 90% of the people that I talk to are worried about twitching. Um, and so I, I kind of want to do this video to, to sort of like raise awareness for the symptoms that often don't get talked about. The symptoms are actually really common in our health anxiety community, but for some reason just aren't kind of like well known. And I want to bring attention to those symptoms because they are very common, actually. And I wish that um, I wish that they were listed on these health websites so that we would feel reassured when we when we read that, OK, that can be caused by anxiety. So, I mean, for me, like I've I've had like I really believe that almost any symptom can be caused by anxiety. And I say that because it's happened to me. Um, like even insane symptoms, like, I mean, I could go on and on and on about this, but there's been symptoms that, you know, I could not find in relation to anxiety at all, um, but turns out to be anxiety and all symptoms that have like absolutely bewildered like neurologists and stuff, um, but it was anxiety, you know? So, I mean, for me, like I ended up like, I, I you know, I don't wanna trigger people but I am going to talk about some pretty intense symptoms that I had. So please, you know, don't don't watch this if you're in in a bit of a um, if you, if you're not in a good mindset today, maybe maybe don't watch this video. But I mean, I ended up having seizures, um, and you know, I had all of the tests, um, gosh, MRIs, CT scans, uh, a brain angiogram. I had an EEG on my brain. Um, nothing nothing was found and it, it was it was a hundred percent stress um the uh neurosurgeon um and the neurologist both kind of could see from my eeg that i was insanely stressed and anxious um everything was crazy but there was no epilepsy and this these these three seizures that i had they came about at a time where i was gosh I was like completely suicidal. My 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 anxiety was absolutely horrendous. I was back and forth being hospitalised, um, and I had three grand mal seizures. But there was anxiety induced, um, and the neurologist, in the end, you know, he like sort of um, spoke to a couple of other people in different centres, and they kind of agreed that this does it does sometimes happen. And I don't say that to scare you. I say that because I it goes to show that anxiety can literally cause anything. Um, I had myochronic jerks, I had, um, I was hallucinating. So another thing that you don't typically see related to anxiety, you know, when, when people think of hallucinations, they think of psychosis or bipolar, schizophrenia, things like that. Um, I had um, auditory hallucinations and I had smell um, hallucinations. Um, what else did I have? I mean, I had like complete limb numbness, which I know is um, you do hear about that being talked with um, and uh, being related to anxiety. But with me, it was like constant limb numbness to the point where like I actually couldn't walk. So it wasn't just like my leg feeling numb. I couldn't use it. Like it was com it was completely, it was weak. I couldn't use it at all. Um, what else did I have? My gosh, uh, gosh, I had like voices in my head. Um, I... I had uh, blood spots all over my body, so they're, they're actually called, I never know how to pronounce it, Petechia or Petechi or something like that. 
uh, I was covered in them, um, which, you know, when you read online, you read things like leukemia and uh, meningitis, you know, or, or just generally low platelets. You don't see it being related to anxiety, but for some reason it would happen every single time I was stressed. So there are many symptoms that don't typically fit into the anxiety box, but they are anxiety. I mean, I remember going to A&E um, a long, long time ago, and at my ECG, I had inverted T waves and my QT interval was prolonged, um, which is insane because that would indicate long QT syndrome, which is a, a very, very serious heart problem. Um, and I had so many more tests. I ended up seeing an electrophysiologist. I saw a cardiologist and it, it was nothing. It was stress. My, 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 literally my heart ECG was showing up like I was having a heart attack. Like they literally rushed me in. They rushed me in because my, my ECG was insane. Um, like to, that blows my mind, like blows my mind that I've been in situations with my health anxiety where I've absolutely gobsmacked doctors because I've, I, my ECG looks like I'm having a heart attack or, um, you know, I've broken out in like a crazy rash that nobody really understands or I've got blood spots all over my body or I'm hallucinating or I'm having full-blown seizures, like full-on seizures to the point where I literally wet myself at the top of the stairs, you know? Like I was, I was completely like unconscious. So can anxiety cause any symptom? Yes. Like, yes, I believe so. I really do believe so. I... I think that a, a, a stressed out body can, can create almost any symptom. And I, I understand that this video is very triggering because I don't want you guys sat there thinking like, oh my gosh, what if I get a seizure and what if this happens to me? I'm saying it because I want you guys to know that those crazy symptoms that you're having that nobody really understands or you don't even understand yourself, it, is, it could be caused by anxiety because I've had some wacky symptoms that just make no sense, but I know that it was all anxiety. Um, so it just goes to show that anxiety is way more complex than just, you know, heart palpitations or a bit of dizziness. It goes way deeper than that. And for some people, their symptoms are insane. And some people will have like really less common symptoms. Um, obviously with anything, always get checked out first. Like I got myself checked out. I made sure that there really wasn't anything wrong with my heart. I made sure that I wasn't, ha I didn't have epilepsy. I made sure that my blood spots wasn't leukemia or meningitis because I had blood tests. But once all of that is kind of like done, you know, me and my doctors kind of came to this conclusion, well, we think this is stress. Um, so there are some crazy, crazy um, anxiety symptoms, like insane. And they're scary. They're really, really scary because then you end up saying to your friend, like, oh, hey, have you ever, like, broken out in a rash when you're anxious? And they're like, no. You know, and then that makes you feel worse. But it's just, you know, I think I just wanted to do this video just to, like, let you guys know that these things do happen. And what I would love for you all to do is in the comments, if you have ever had a symptom or symptoms that are like one of the less common anxiety symptoms, ones that you've never really seen written about online, please pop them below in the comments so that we can like have this huge discussion of our crazy anxiety symptoms that, you know, seem to be uncommon, but I bet you they're actually a lot more common than we think. So if you feel comfortable doing that, please do. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and in the description of this video, you can find um, my socials, um, you can find my Facebook support page. And if you want to work with me on a one-to-one -one basis, you can also find the link to my Patreon um, where you can join my mentorship. So um, that's all for today, guys. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.